Okay, you guys, I just got home from work and I checked the mail real quick and I got a thing in the mail. It's from hitrecord.org, which is weird because I just happened to be wearing my Hit Record shirt today. So I'm gonna open it. Okay, guys, so here it is. There's a cute little note. If you want to read it, I guess you can pause on that. And there's the check. This is how much I was supposed to get with 694, but they deducted that $35 for canceling and resending the check, but still that's awesome, $659.05. And here's all the stuff I contributed to, well I contributed to more than this, but this is the stuff that got actually used. Ah! I got so excited to take pictures of the check and everything and put it on Facebook that I've been not editing the vlog. It's 7 p.m. so I've been home for like 45 minutes and I still haven't started editing. <laughs> I will right away, but I wanted to make, this one's for Facebook. It's got like the picture, then another picture of the close-up of the things, and then this is the one just for like Twitter. I might post it to Instagram as well later, but I want to get editing the vlog, but I was just like, ooh, editing pictures, and then I'm, I'm just excited to post them, okay? So yeah, I also need to eat food. I'm starving, and today's Thursday, so it's Christian's team night at work so he won't be here so I might just have something really simple for supper also I picked up milk today and mayo because we bought sandwich meat last weekend but then we only had enough mayo to make one sandwich and I need my mayo on my sandwich so oh my god I'm so dumb it's still sitting out wow I was really excited about that check as you can tell I left my milk sitting out. Yeah, I got mayo and milk. And then I also picked up contact solution at Shoppers Drug Mart. I had a feeling it was on sale, and it was, so I picked it up. Otherwise, I would have waited to go to Superstore. I bought two boxes of two. We fly through this stuff, though, because ever since Christian lost his glasses in Mexico, he's been wearing his contacts every day, and he usually rarely wears them. He'll maybe wear them if he's going to play a sport or, I don't know, special occasions. So we've been going through tons of contact solution. I can't do this with one hand. Here we go. Anywho. I just realized I haven't actually opened my button package. It's because I pretty much know what's in it. But I should at least just check it out, make sure everything's there. Because I actually got an email from Six Cent Press. They're like, oh, too bad you couldn't have come to pick it up in person. And I was like, I know. Oh, I haven't actually replied yet because I figured I should actually check the package before I reply. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna slice this open with my rusty knife. <laughs> I think this is actually the bottom of the box. Alrighty, so here's this. Stuff. I already looked at that. I just has my address on it, so I don't want to show it. What the hell? Was was that wrapped in this? <laughs> just random. Just a newspaper. Yeah, these were probably wrapped in it initially, or it's just stuffing. Here's more. Yeah, I guess just extra padding. I don't know. <laughs> oh my god, you guys. Yep, this is what 2,000 buttons look like. <laughs> oh my goodness, so you got your little pin back pieces, you've got these little frisbee shaped pieces, you've got your mylar, and that's basically it. The only other piece you need is the artwork and the machine, of course, but <laughs> woo! Oh, this is just making me so happy. I've been out of button parts for almost a whole year. This is a nice box. It's just very sturdy and clean and new looking. Mastering the art of pairing beer with food. Oh, oh, that looks interesting. Give this beer a try. Why are all the articles about beer? Brewing gets competitive. It's like all beer all the time. Canadian newspapers, oh uh, yeah. It's actually not true. There was some kind of beer event going on this last week and that's probably why there were so many beer articles <sighs> guys we have another casualty christian's tie he was about to leave for work this morning and 
I noticed his tie was extremely dirty. He never notices these things. I was like, what's all over your tie? He looked down and he's like, what the hell? And uh, then I realized that this is what he was wearing when we went bowling. So it's the same stupid grease that's on my mermaid shirt. So I tried just hand washing it right now because it's supposed to be hand washed only and it's 100% silk. This thing says do not use on silk. And I'm like, well, what the hell? <laughs> That's the worst luck ever. So I just tried using normal detergent and I tried washing it, but it's really hard because there's these tiny fibers, like all the little fibers run in this direction. And so I can only rub in this direction. If I rub across the grain, it will tear it up and stuff. So I'm trying to be gentle while still getting it out. I basically rubbed with my fingers and then rinsed it and I patted it dry, but I can still see where the grease was. Like there was some down here. I don't know how well it'll show on camera because this tie is now wet, but it was like here, here, here. And then there was a bunch of lines of grease up here. It was just all over. It was, it was pretty bad. So I don't know. It's, it's probably not going to dry very nicely. It might still be noticeable, but I don't know. I'll let it dry. And then if I think we need to do a second pass on it, I will. But it's never going to look perfectly clean ever again. As long as it's not real noticeable, I'm sure it's fine. Because this is a really nice feeling tie. Well, before I got it all wet, it was really nice looking. So, <laughs> oops. Sorry, my bra's there. Oh no, a piece of fabric. So, yeah, anyways, let's hang this up and hope it survives. So this morning I used this on my shirt and I just let it sit all day, but we're not doing laundry till the weekend most likely, so I didn't actually wash it in a washing machine. I just kind of rinsed it by hand in the sink. So you can see the stains are still there. I feel like it did help get a little bit more of it off, but I think I'm just going to reapply this stuff and then put it in the actual washing machine this weekend and hopefully that works. So it's actually kind of cool because this tip gets pressed down. It's kind of like a tied to go pen but giant. See it disperses the stuff and then using these little knobs on the end you just kind of rub it in. It's really fun to use actually. I was bummed I couldn't use it on the tie. I mean we could always try as a last resort. Because the difference is this has already been washed and dried. So the stain has probably set. But Christian's tie has not been washed or dried, so there's a chance this could work, but it says do not use on silk. So, I don't really want to try that. You guys, major face palm moment. I was just cleaning up the kitchen, doing dishes and whatnot, and then I opened the fridge, and then something just seemed a little off. It's this. I put the Tide in the fridge, apparently, when I was cleaning earlier. Oh my god. It's probably been in there for a good hour. Wow. Okay, so there's this little skit video on YouTube. It's been on there since 2005. It's very ancient and I forgot about it until my sister linked it to me the other day. Maybe that was yes. Yeah, I think that was yesterday. She linked it to me and I had totally forgotten about this video, but it's such a classic. It's on the Lonely Island YouTube channel. It's called The Back Seatsman and it is like, I don't know, it's pure comedy gold. It's just... It's so ridiculous. Uh, to... What the hell did you do that for? I needed that there. What, what are you, sucking on a lollipop? Stop that. What, what, is, what is that, a headband? Where'd you get a headband? Don't put that on. Oh, now you have a yo-yo? You don't even know how to use a yo-yo. Put that away. You might think it's super lame, but it's hilarious. You should check it out. The Back Seatsman. Guys, I'm being really bad. It's 11 p.m. And I haven't even started the animation thing. I've just been kind of like dinking around, like putting away some laundry, cleaning some stuff up here and there, watching my sister's live stream, dinking around on the internet and like, I mean, earlier I wasted time with like pictures and things, but, uh, so that was understandable. The hit record check hype, but since then it's just been pure slackage and I don't know if I want to actually stay up now and do it because part of me is like oh I'll just like watch some vlogs and work on the pictures but then it's already 11 I should probably just go to bed right <laughs> I don't want to be up super late because I could just finish the drawings tomorrow you know what I think I'm just gonna do it because I don't feel like going to bed right now 
so I'm gonna put on some vlogs, not mine, but other people's, <laughs> and uh, just finish those last two frames. Just, just get her done. The pickle will get me through this, but I should probably finish it before I work on my thing, because we all know I dripped my popsicle juice on my drawings, so I should probably eat this and not get pickle juice on my drawings. And I'm done. Dun, dun, dun. I'm looking forward to the coloring so much. It's going to be loose and sketchy looking, and I'm just like, fine, man. That'll have to be on the weekend, though. <laughs> Tomorrow's Friday, so... I don't know. Normally I'd be excited for that, but I work Saturday also. So. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to go to bed now. So thanks for watching, and I will see you guys tomorrow for the stream. Mm. <laughs> Here, let's do a little, like, dropping the camera. Let's do a little view on the chat. If anyone wants to say hi to YouTubes, now is the time. Oh, look, there we are. Mm. No, goodies. <laughs>